Hey guys, so today I decided to do another special and limited edition video, part 2 for the Dodge Challenger. What I do for this series is check out various rare and limited edition models that Dodge put out over the years. Each of these models was given a limited production run, usually only available for between 1-3 to three years, and each had their own cool features specific to that model. In part 1 for the Challenger, we looked at the Mopar 10 edition, 2011 SRT8 inaugural edition, 2012 SRT Yellow Jacket, and the 2014 100th Anniversary Edition. And today we've got the first year 2008 SRT8, the Mopar 14 Shaker, the Mopar 17 Edition, and the Hellcat and Demon. So let's get started. First up is the initial release of the Challenger. In December 2007, the 2008 SRT8 model was available for pre-order for an MSRP of $37,995 plus a $2,000 gas guzzler tax. And even though there were only 9,000 orders for a Challenger before the end of 2007, it did have a limited production run for the first year with around 7,200 2008 models. So that's 6,462 for the US, 700 for Canada, and roughly 100 for Mexico. The Canadian models were a special first edition Canada 500 model that came with a dash plaque and certificate of authenticity. And they also had unique badges that paid homage to the Charger and Coronet 500s of the past. Color breakdown is shown on screen with Hemi Orange, Bright Silver Metallic, or Brilliant Black Crystal Pearl Coat as your three options. This Challenger had a more open grille design with the SRT badge nestled in the right corner and the word Challenger in the left. And beside the hood scoops are a 6.1 liter Hemi lettering and at the back there's a black deck lid spoiler with the SRT8 badge on it and there's also a unique fuel cap. The whole car got black carbon fiber stripes as well. As for the wheels, they were Alcoa 5-spoke Ford's aluminum 20-inch rims wrapped with 245-45-20 tires. Beneath those wheels were large rotors and 4-piston Brembo calipers. Moving on to performance, there was a 6.1 liter 370 cubic inch V8 Hemi that made 425 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. And for this 2008 model, the only transmission pairing was a 5-speed automatic with auto stick. Performance was very respectable, with a 0 to 60 of 4.7 seconds and a quarter mile time of 13.2 seconds. There were also two 2008 SRT8 models that Chrysler auctioned off to charity. The first ever model sold for $400,000, and the second auction was a B5 Blue that sold for $228,000. Next up, we have the Mopar Edition 14 Challenger, which is an ultra rare version of the Challenger. This came out during a string of five Mopar editions in 2014 following the Mopar 10 Challenger, Mopar 11 Charger, Mopar 12 Chrysler 300, and Mopar 13 Dart Editions. All of these came with a black and blue Mopar color scheme and were limited to either 500 or 1000 units. The Challenger did things a little bit differently. There were two color options, bright white or pitch black, many customization options, and a very limited production run of just 100 cars for the US and another 10 for Canada. The actual production numbers turned out to be 60 units of the pitch black and another 51 of the bright white for a total of 111, so an extra car snuck in there somewhere. Dodge opened up the US order lines on April 1st of 2014 and the first 100 models sold out very quickly within just one business day. And the price of this car cost almost as much as an SRT model with a starting price of $40,490. This special edition Challenger was based on the new RT Shaker, so ultimately this was a dressed up RT. One of the major attractions of the Mopar 14 edition was the return of the Shaker hood, which poked out from the hood with an awesome Shaker logo to go along with it. The base stripe option was a Shaker stripe that went along the hood, roof, and trunk, but Mopar also added two new options, a rocker panel body sides, triple stripe, with a Mopar logo that went across the doors, or an A-line body side stripe that wraps up over the deck lid and has a Mopar logo on the rear quarter panel. I'll try to find pics of those, but they're pretty hard to find since the car is so limited. The 14 Challenger also got a black vapor grille surround, black fuel filler door, gloss black deck lid spoiler, Mopar quarter gloss decals, and gloss black Mopar design badges. So this was definitely visually different from your average RT. And this edition also got new 20 by 8 inch gloss black wheels with Mopar center caps. The interior also got its fair share of upgrades. The color was dark slate inside, there was performance front seats with premium black Napa leather, Mopar blue accent threading, the Mopar logos embossed into the back of the seat, and a pistol grip shifter along with a three spoke leather wrap performance steering wheel to complete the package. All owners also got an interior plaque with your serial number, Mopar branded key fobs, and a huge custom owner's kit. That kit added extra goodies like brochures, memorabilia, and customized items that all have the serial number of your own car. And another awesome feature was that when ordering your Mopar 14 Challenger, 
buyers could add tons of Mopar custom shop items, which I'll show on screen. The most popular options chosen were the Mopar hood pin kit, Mopar performance badges, quad exhaust tips, the Mopar Challenger car cover, and the Mopar Performance Catback exhaust system. And this also meant that depending on which options you ordered, each Mopar 14 could be potentially different from each other. The only thing that wasn't too special was the performance, as this car got the standard 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that the Challenger RTs have had for many years, but a Mopar cold air intake was added. There was two transmissions, an optional 5-speed auto, and a standard 6-speed manual, Power output was slightly different depending on the transmission, so the automatics had 372 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, while the manual got 375 and 410. And the Mopar 14 was capable of 0 to 60 in 5 seconds flat and a quarter mile in 13.5 seconds. Next up is the 2015 Challenger Hellcat. I know that this model has been around every year since then, and it's not exactly super rare, but this made a huge splash in the car world, and it was somewhat limited as there are production figures for each year. Just looking at 2015, the grand total was 7,168 Hellcat Challengers worldwide, with the three rarest colors being Jazz Blue, Billet Silver, and Ivory Tricoat. The first models of the Hellcat came in with a starting price around 60000 For 2015, the first year of the Hellcat, the Challenger got a bit of a facelift and different changes. The SRT8 models were dropped in favor of the SRT392 and SRT Hellcat, and the grille was slightly modified with quad LED halo ring projector headlights, a functional hood for the SRT models, and LED taillights among other things. Dodge and SRT designers spent 35% more time over the last SRT Challenger in the Auburn Hills wind tunnel testing the Hellcat to make it as aerodynamic as possible. The SRT392 and Hellcat models got visual improvements over the rest of the Challenger lineup to stand out. So the front and rear fascias are different, the lightweight all aluminum hood has dual air extractors to remove heat, there's a big front splitter for downforce, a rear spoiler with the SRT logo, and an air catcher inlet port to feed air directly to the engine bay through the driver's side parking light. The 2015 Hellcat sure was fun to look at, especially since it came in 11 different high impact colors, as you'll see on screen. The interior got an upgrade as well, so there was new features like stamped aluminum bezels, a 7 inch driver information display, analog speedometer and tachometer for a heritage inspired look, dark radar red gauges and graphics, and the standard 8.4 inch Uconnect system in full display. If you got an automatic transmission, you got a T-handle shifter with auto stick, and the manual versions got a retro ball shifter. The automatics also get paddle shifters on the flat bottom SRT steering wheel. The Hellcats also got performance seats that came standard with heat and ventilation, and these seats were wrapped with either Napa leather and Alcantara, or Laguna premium leather, both coming with the SRT logos. What everyone talks about when the word Hellcat is mentioned is of course the performance. So found under the hood was Dodge's most powerful V8, a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi with 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. Transmission choices were either a 6-speed automatic or 8-speed manual. Power to weight ratio was 2.81 kilograms or 6.19 pounds per horsepower. And this machine could go 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, quarter mile in 11.2 seconds, and is capable of 199 mile per hour top speed. And the Hellcat got two key fobs, one red and one black. The black one limited the engine output to just 500 horsepower, while there was no restrictions on the red one. The Hellcat Challenger also got 20 by 9.5 inch lightweight forged aluminum wheels with 275 40 20 tires, and beneath those wheels were the largest brakes ever found on an SRT car with 15.4 inch Brembo two piece rotors with six piston front calipers and four piston rears. The Mopar 17 Challenger is the 8th special edition from Mopar, we've already been over the Mopar 14 edition, and this time it was to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Mopar, which combines the words motor and parts. Mopar was created way back on August 1st, 1937, and by 2017 they're already 80 years old. That's why Mopar made just 80 copies of this version with two different paint schemes, pitch black and contusion blue, and pitch black and billet silver. So 80 of each of these equals 160 total available. The base used was the 2017 Challenger RT Scat Pack 392 Shaker, which was then taken to the Mopar Custom Shop to get some treatment. The roof was hand-painted black for the two-tone look, and the starting price of one of these came in at $57,885, which was around $10,000 more than the same non-exclusive model, so that's the price you had to pay for the exclusivity. On these versions, the hood and rear decklet spoiler were blacked out, a Mopar design badge was added, and black Hellcat exhaust tips as well, 
and there was a 392 emblem painted by hand on the fenders. They really paid attention to detail, as you can see the 3 in the badge was a Mopar M that was flipped around. The wheels were 20 by 9 inch with Dodge center caps, and there's another awesome feature under the hood, an 80th anniversary plaque that tells you which version you have out of 80. The only features inside the cabin are silver Mopar logos that were embroidered into the seats, and the same silver stitching on the doors and other interior panels. As you'll see on screen, each customer also got an extensive Mopar 17 owner's kit that included tons of awesome little things. Inside the leather case, you got Mopar valve stem caps, keychains, a welcome letter, hand-signed rendering of the car from FCA's design office, an information booklet, anniversary badge, acrylic design piece, and a vehicle birth certificate that was engraved on a metal plate that told you vehicle specs, the date it was manufactured, and the vehicle number. Last but not least is the performance. Under the hood was a 6.4 liter 392 Hemi that produced 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque, and this was paired to a 6-speed manual. Helping the performance was a Mopar cold air intake, silver powder-coated strut tower braces, and 4-piston Brembo brakes. The air catcher duct system from the Hellcats was also found here, with the inside driver's side headlight having an air inlet. And overall, 0 to 60 happens in 4.5 seconds, and the quarter mile in just 12.7 seconds. The final car on this episode is going to be the Dodge Demon, which debuted at the 2017 New York Auto Show. Dodge went all out with this one-off model, making it the world's fastest production car at the time. There were just 3,000 made for the US and another 300 for Canada, and the base price was $85,000 but many were marked up by dealerships. When compared to the Hellcat, the Demon got a wide body addition which increased the width of the fenders by 3.5 inches and a Demon badge on the fender to replace the Hellcat one. An air grabber hood was added with a massive 45.2 inch square inch scoop to allow air to go through and the Halo headlights now have two intakes instead of one. And the Demon was available in 15 colors, with pitch black being the most popular and maximum steel the least. The interior is the same as the other Challengers, but it only comes with a front seat. Of course you can add the passenger seat and rear seats for just a buck if you aren't that intense about your performance and weight, but if you were, you could get rear roll bars instead of the seats, and a 4 point harness for the driver. The weight was down 216 pounds from a regular SRT Hellcat, as Dodge removed everything that you'll see on screen. Demon emblems are stitched into the back of the front seats, and there is an Alcantara wrapped steering wheel with paddle shifters. Performance was incredible on the Demon, which came from its 6.2 liter supercharged V8 Hemi with a 2.7 liter supercharger and an 8 speed automatic. This makes 808 horsepower and 717 pound feet of torque with 91 octane fuel, but that will go up to 840 horsepower and 770 pound feet of torque with 100 octane racing fuel. Like the Hellcat, there's a black and red key fob, but the Demon also had a Demon crate, which helped you to achieve that maximum 840 horsepower. The crate came with many different things, like a direct connection PCM, high octane rating racing fuel switch bank, torque wrench, impact wrench, tool bag, personalized serial badge, and some thinner front tires to take to the drag strip, among many other things. There are way too many other performance features and additions added to even count. I'll go over a few, like there's the drag mode suspension, torque reserve on demand, dual fuel pumps, an SRT power chiller, and trans brake system. And of course this car had many firsts in terms of both features and abilities of a production car, so it had the first ever liquid to air charge cooling system on a production car, and is able to hit full boost in 6 feet. It also has the hardest launch off the line of any production car with 1.8G off the line and can lift the front wheels off the ground 2.92 feet at takeoff which is a Guinness world record and the first production car to ever do this. The Demon came with lightweight 5 spoke rims with Demon specialized 315-40-18 Nitto tires to handle all that power and these were a street legal drag radial. This all results in a crazy 0-60 to 60 of 2.3 seconds, 0-100 to 100 of 5.1 seconds, and quarter mile time of 9.65 seconds, all according to Dodge testing. The last ever Demon was built on May 31st, 2018, and it was sold as a package deal with the last Dodge Viper, raising $1.65 million for charity. Well that's the end of this video guys, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed looking at some of these limited edition challengers. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.